revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business. Experience Pros University are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Good morning and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business. Your business is our business. Good morning. Well, good morning to you. Can I, can I do the top 10 or do you have some funky news? <gasps> oh, I think you should do the top 10. So over the weekend, I came across, you know, some article trending on Facebook. And so I clicked on it. And when I was there, I discovered it was a whole website of really quirky, funky news stories. And I felt like I just landed on a treasure trove of information for Eric. I mean, it was like quirky stuff. I can't even remember it, but you know, it's like, yeah, I, I can't even remember it, it, what the articles were, odd. but they were odd. They were odd stories. And at first I was, I was flattered. And then, and then it became I was, clear. I was helping. I was helping. You no, know, it became clear to me that you were mocking me. And, 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 I think yeah. I, you go ahead and start with the top ten, and I'll uh, I'll find our conversation because you were mocking me. I, w wait a minute! You can't tell tone over a text message. Oh boy! How did this can is I? why we don't have conversations. We just share information. Mm -hmm. And so, if you read into a tone and you think that I was mocking you and the validity of the news, yeah. here's the thing: when Eric wants it to be news, and he's like, "We're." We are always I deliver in reputable news. news. News, news, news. And then when we tease him about it, he's like, it's not news. It's just all in fun. Well, you can't have it both ways. You can't, on a whim, decide, yes, we share news versus, yes, we share goofy stories. All right. So here's how it started. She sent me an, ar an article on Saturday saying, I may have stumbled across a new website source for your stories. And the headline that she sent me was, man was charged with passive aggressively clogging a toilet. Toilet. Oh, with potatoes. With potatoes, yeah. Yeah, so, to get back at his maintenance man. It's so I, I replied quickly, you have my undivided attention. He's like, I want to clog my... Right? I want to... I'm going to clog and my... she goes on to say, there's a tab for dumb tell. criminals and a story about a dentist who killed his patient pulling 20 teeth. <gasps> Actually, Weird stuff right up your alley. And I said, I think you're mocking my media genius. She says, you think so? And I said, there, <laughs> there, you're doing it again. <laughs> You can't tell tone. <laughs> tell tone. I read. I read like that yours. story. Well, I glanced at the story of a of a dentist whose patient died. He was pulling twenty twenty teeth at a time. I actually had a nightmare about that that night. Well, I had a dream about that, and it was a nightmare. Glad to hear it. Um, but it was. It was really odd stories. Yeah, toilet clogging with potatoes. I thought, oh, Eric will get all. He'll get all into that. Uh, you know, it was and right up like, my, until like you started mocking. Wait a minute. The, the, uh, thou, thou shalt not mock. Why Why did the mocking change how you appreciated it? Like you appreciated it. Because all of a sudden now I am the butt of your joke. And I didn't realize that until, until it was several jokes in. You don't know that Will I don't take read the top your 10? news stories seriously ever? You don't know that? I am a legitimate reporter and I often, <laughs> often trump Matt Lauer. Legitimate reporter who on occasion gets to the story before I have that. media credentials and I actually need I need, printed that media right. credential on my printer no you did not I'm talking about the ones that uh, the CBA gave but Practically I, 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 printed I need it to on get new ones my, yeah I don't think I'm going to renew outdated. yours come on year. I don't think so <laughs> well then I'll be an illegitimate reporter and I'll still bring the news and Trump not lower I think often. that it nothing will, will change you please what? get to the top 10 reasons why people should go to Cancun with us. Why are you so anxious? Only because I've asked six times. Well, I don't have to do what you asked you me. You started I it. wanted to, but May now we are... May I bring the top ten, you said. This is the nice thing about, you know, this this uh, you know entry into the show is Friends we get to talk down about... down I-25. Do you ever have this kind of morning? we want to talk about. And if the <laughs> conversation changes, then the conversation changes. But, I don't but, have to talk I about it. I want to talk about what you wanted to talk about. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Don't do that. I know. Don't. You're leaving people in the dark. They want to know what the top 10 reasons are why they should come to Cancun with us. All right. Well, Eric wrote this yesterday. So, and, you know, my Eric Raymer 
David Letterman style. Number 10. Yes. You will have close up access to small business rock stars, trainers, and owners just like you. That is correct. Number nine. You will learn to focus on the right customers to ensure your marketing dollars and efforts are not wasted. Number eight. You will learn to gain and retain more customers with a time tested, proven method of creating word of mouth marketing. We have the system. Number seven, you will learn how to increase your social media presence with our revolutionary method for building brand recognition. That's not your garden variety method. It's revolutionary. Number six, you will create a monthly action plan for reaching potential customers. Because without faith, faith without action is dead. Are you going to interrupt every time? I mean, you're I'm like, giving color. Oh, color. Color. Right. Will you right. please just read the damn numbers? I read half of them. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I read six. You read six. That's not half. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not dumb. I can do the math. <laughs> Number five, you will learn how to create a brand loyal tribe of customers who outsell your marketing. Number, you know. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, <laughs> you will learn the seven steps to creating top of mind presence that simply cannot fail. They cannot fail. Number three, you will design four annual marketing campaigns that leverage the balance of your EPU training. Just, just read, just read. Number two, you will learn how to differentiate your business network for profit, increase your closing rate, develop business relationships that will last a lifetime. It's actually four in that one, but I ran out of numbers. Yeah. It's go ahead, go Eric ahead. Math. Just read, read math. and read the number one. And the number one reason doom, doom, you doom. should sign up to yes. come to Cancun, Mexico with right. us on April 25th by calling Highlands Ranch Travel today is you will do all of this learning from the poolside at the Dreams Sands five star all inclusive resort. All you can drink, all you can eat, dancing, the beach, the beach, a cruise, and fun. And oh, yeah, Angel and Eric. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And, and while you're doing, do, oh, do, do, and, oh, there's, there's a, a bonus. There's a bonus reason. So, yeah, so there's like 18 reasons right. in this whole thing if you can't. You're welcome. Out. It is tax deductible. Hello. You are going to go into Experience Pros University in Cancun, seven days. Eight days. Eight days seven seven nights. nights in Cancun. The entire price, everything's included. The If you were to go to a mastermind workshop and spend a full week uh, with, it, with an intimate group um, doing some mastermind training and uh, coaching, you would probably spend seven to $10,000 for that week. Everything is included for $1,694 per person, today only. Based on double occupancy. Based on all sorts of fun, fun things. And, more. Yeah, but you've got to hurry, otherwise the rate will go up. The phone number is 303-791-2311. That's the number for Highlands Ranch Travel, taking care of this trip for us. 303-791-2311. And the second edition of List That Saved My Business is going to be put into the hands of everybody coming with us and getting so ready true. to uh, get that in there. Sweet little hands. They do not have to wait until the trip. All right. Hey, children aren't just for mowing lawns anymore, and we're going to talk about why when we come back. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Your business is growing, but your computers are slowing. We can fix that. We're C Squared Computer Consulting, and we can help you take on the challenges of your growing business by helping you get the most out of your systems through availability managed services. We provide reliable protection with 24 by 7 system monitoring. Check us out at c2cc.net or call us at 303 933 1113. That's C Squared Computer Consulting, c2cc.net. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train the ERM way. Find them online at Extreme Relationship management.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. 
we want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. If you want to make a difference in the life of someone serving our country, if you really want to make a difference, the USO is how it's done. To find out how you can help, visit us at USO.org. The USO, until everyone comes home. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for ours. You've got kids. I've got kids. Well, grown men now. Uh, they will always be your kids. I, raised, I, 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 I created them, helped create them. Uh, for tax deductions and mowing the lawn, right? You know, sometimes you are just so detached. For somebody who is so into emotion and you say you're so caring and loving and full, like sometimes you are just so detached. This is called acting. Oh, now it's acting. Now it's acting. So which is it? Acting before, acting then. Oh, there are times, even as a grown woman with children of my own who are becoming grown adults, every time I'm with my parents, I still feel like a child, and yes. there's no handbook uh, for raising ch children. It is not an easy job, and our next guest has actually lost her son, Charlie, uh, to pneumonia when he was 23 mm. years old. She's written a book about it, and she's here to talk about cherishing your children every single day. Judy, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you. Judy, very nice to have you along with us. Now, listen, when, with so much going on in the life of the average family. Do you think that some parents are simply too busy or disconnected and they often miss the moments to show love on a daily basis? I think so. There, you know, when I was a, a child, most most of the time your mother was, you know, a stay-at-home mom and now it's two income families and people just, you know, come home from work and it's time to make supper and a lot nowadays don't even, you know, sit down and have a meal together at, at the table and it, you know, starting to be a sad situation and you lose in touch with your kids and the precious time with them. So, so what do you recommend, you know, because we do have uh, dual income families. We've got uh, folks who are on the go all the time. Latch key became a phrase back in the nineties uh, and the eighties. What, what do you recommend? I recommend at least set a, a time down every day to, you know, ask your child, you know, how's things going and hopefully, you know, people have time together to have at least their, you know, meals together at the table and just, you know, find out how you, your child's coping and stuff. There's a lot of 
situations with uh, bullying and, you know, and there's a lot of just bad situation with kids these days, and it's, it's so terrible, and they are get in touch. They are facing, I mean, it, it is challenging uh, how, how mean uh, and cruel other kids can be and some of the stuff that they're facing these days. And, and I know for me, Judy, you know, as my children were growing up, you know, mealtime was always very, very important. I found three different times of the day that I could kind of grab my kids' attentions. But as they're getting older, getting, you know, I still want to be attached to them. And so I don't have nearly as much control over their schedule as I as I did when they were a little younger. Um, do you have any advice for, for parents who are, who kids are, you know, they're, they're high school and college age for staying connected? Well, if they're active in sports, you know, make time out to go to their, you know, attend their sports and, and just that it's, you know, time to, you know, like go to a movie together, you know, maybe the weekends, you know, it's, it's a uh, winter and stuff and, Back when I was a kid, Dad always took time out and take a sled and nice. And you know, a lot of people, you know, they don't, they don't, you know, not in touch with all the fun stuff that we had when we were kids, you know, like sledding and uh, just going out for hot chocolate. And sometimes Mom would leave me at school. You know, she don't catch. There was five of us. She, didn't, I guess, she didn't count heads. And <laughs> oh, no. I would walk home, you know, and I just stop in. Dad was assistant manager at a grocery store, and I would just walk in and, well, I guess I'll go see, you know, what Dad's up to. And, you know, kids could do that, too, reach out to their parents and, hey, you, you got time to do this, you know, or how about we go out to eat, you know, and stuff like that. You know, the kids can reach out to the parents, too. Sure, sure. Now, Judy, you lost your son, Charlie, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, do you have some tips on how how a parent copes for I mean, you, the, I think you just, you never want to bury your child. So, um, anything you'd like to share about that? Oh, well, it took me a while after you, you know, Charlie passed away at the hospital. And we were walking out and I told my husband and my young youngest son, I just had the two boys. And I said, you know, a chapter closed in our life and a new one's open. And we're just going to have to stay together and open this to new chapter and see where it leads us and you know we don't leave charlie behind we always take a family picture and we leave an open seat you know i always tell everybody the open seat you know honors charlie and and then you wrote a book speaking of a new chapter then you wrote you wrote the book beyond life yeah it was about i had weird dreams after charlie passed away about him living in heaven with my mom and dad and my grandparents and and in, in the dreams, we would talk about grief, and we would talk about bullying, and it just weared on my mind. And, and I just finally, Bobby came home and said, Mom, here's a book you could keep your, you know, dreams in. You know, so I wrote them down, and I woke up one day, and Char- I heard Charlie tell me, Mom, I want you to write a book about your dreams. And I didn't realize what I had written until I started reading back. I'm like, okay, so Feshy's Charlie and Gigi's me and we're actually talking about grief you know what did you up and leave me you know you left me behind you left this big open space in my life and how am I going to go on without you and then later on you know he's talking about well do you remember the time how I was bullied in school and how you know you pulled me out and home educated me and I can't thank you enough for that and we would discuss how uh let, let's you know, not, how to deal with the bully and stuff like that. Let's not give away the whole book. Let's uh, let's actually try to sell one or two here. <laughs> uh, the book is called Beyond Life by Judy Diller. Uh, and, Judy, where do we get a copy? Uh, J-A-Diller.com, D-I-L-L-E-R. J-A-Diller.com. Yeah. Judy, we want to thank you for your time and for your story. We appreciate you being on the show today. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. 
You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Um, LMB number 1000-204-22, NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at door.state.co.us. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803. And tell him the pros sent you. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. We've unlocked the secret to helping you get online reviews, and it's by signing up for the Fan Bragging Contest. You only have until February 27th to get all the five-star reviews you could ever want. Check this out. Our friends at All Stitched and Glitzed Out received 60 positive reviews in just three weeks. The connecting experts received over 87, and whoa, Printing Done Quickly has over 120 positive reviews. How many do you need? How many do you want? Sign up today at experiencepros.com forward slash contest. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. I'm John Walsh. I'm Ed Smart. When a child is abducted, time is critical. That's why Amber Alert is so important. The public is notified when a child is abducted. It's a partnership between broadcasters, law enforcement, transportation, and you. Thanks for making Amber Alert happen. Dana Lash, 8 p.m. weeknights on KLZ 560. Hi, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner, New York Times bestselling author and founder of BNI, the world's largest networking organization. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the number one best positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. You're lazy. Lazy. Well, you know, and sometimes it's fun to be lazy. Let's just throw the whole schedule out the window today and be spontaneous and do something fun. We talked about um, recently with a group of people, if you won a million dollars today, what would you do? And I think I would be that girl that, you know, I'd put a little bit away, but I just, let's, let's just have fun with it. You know, we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. And yes, we should be a little cautious with some of it, but put a set amount that you could just have so much fun with it. But most of us have to show up for work today. There's work to be done. Stop being to be lazy. Paid, and things that have to get done. And you know, there are people that are, you kind of in your sphere, they are super productive, not just busy, 
but productive. They're writing books, they're running companies, maybe more than one company. They just seem to be getting so much done and you're in awe of them as you sit there with your TV clicker, what is that, the remote control and right. go, yeah, I just don't know, I just don't know how they get so much done and you're, you know, scrolling around doing a lot of things in, in your schedule that waste time and you get to the end of your day and you go, yeah, I didn't have time to get any of that stuff done. Oh, don't start with the excuses. So, excuses, uh, when people <laughs> shower me with excuses, yeah, it's like you're covering me in tar it and really I is. just feel icky and gross and think we'll snap out of it here's the reality if it's important to you you're going to find a way if not you're going to find an excuse if you have that mentality don't share it with us yeah i don't want to hear it so you know, you know stop being lazy and it's okay again every now and then you need a break i you know at least once a year it seems like my kids would come to me just shoot, your phone is ringing overwhelmed at school and asking can i just can i just have a day off and, you know, you can kind of see it in their face yeah. and they do get a little overwhelmed and every now and then we do need to well, just be able to take Well, there's a mental health day. That's yeah, true. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about some things. If just the laziness has creeped in to more than one day a year. Yeah. And maybe more than one day a week. Here are some fun things that you can do to get more done. Now, I am a to-do list girl. I love making my lists, having it in front of me checking things off, making sure that things are getting done. To-do lists are evil. But yeah, according to an article by Eric Barker on Time, How to Stop Being Lazy and Get More Done. You know it's good because Eric wrote it. Eric Barker, not Eric Reimer. He says, to-do lists are evil. And the only reason I'm going to allow this to be entered into Exhibit A. This, the queen of, uh, of to-do lists. Is because he says, rather than put it on a checklist, Schedule uh, it. Schedule it. Put it in your calendar. Which assign, Angel has been saying for years. Assign it. If it's that important to you, assign it. Put it in the calendar. When are you going to do that? I was having a ch chat with my husband over the weekend, and um, he says, well, I, I'm going to do I, I will do this, and I'll do that. And, and he must have said it like three different times. And I finally looked at him and said, when? <laughs> Stop. Right, like, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's crossing the line. What, I I mean? said I was going to do it. Right. When? When are you going to do that? And and it turned out he's like, well, I guess I'll do it right now. You know, Thank you don't you. have to start nagging us every six months. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. Thank you. But here's the thing. If you put it in the calendar and you actually schedule the time to do it, one, you ensure that, well, you've got the time delegated in your day of, of when that's going to happen. And so until it's on your calendar, it's just a list of wishful thinking. So if you find the to-do list doesn't work for you, switch over and put those high priority items into the calendar. According to Eric Barker, yes, not Reamer, scheduling forces you to confront the reality of how much time you actually have and how long things will take. And you'll be able to look at the whole picture. Um, you're able to get something productive out of every hour you have in your work day. You not only squeeze more work in, but you're able to put work into places where you can do it best. According to Eric Raymer, if you're going to uh, really want to get something done, do like I do. Put a deadline to it. And that deadline might be today at 530. Make the assumption you're going home at 5.30 and plan your day backwards. I do. I'm, I'm a backward planner. Okay. So so you I, know that, that uh, in my world, deadlines tend to get priority. And so schedule a deadline. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Get it done. Right. You I know, need this by Tuesday. If by the end of today I want to do these three things, when am I going to do them? Before right. lunch, after lunch, in this hour, in that hour? How's that going to look? And then... The third step, according to this article, mm -hmm. is plan your entire week. You'll never get ahead of the game by only looking at today and never thinking about tomorrow. That is true. Annie taught us that. Annie? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're never a day 
Okay, here's the thing. Oh, wait. Says, Only a day away, I guess. People don't look oh, well. at the larger picture with their time and schedule. Um, if you know each week how each day is going to break down, and then you'll know each month what you're doing with each week of the month, and then you know each year what you're doing in that month. And sometimes we break our big projects down, our marketing campaigns, really by the quarter. These are the goals we have for the quarter um, because you can't always control your sales and your numbers by the day. Right. Um, for us, we work you know, for our calendar, for big projects, systems, uh, culture. Um, the quarter seems to work for us. It's about, I can get 90 days out of something out of Eric, and then I got to give him a new, a new project every 90 Not days or so. Ever. So. <laughs> the one who comes up with the 90-day plans. Hey, uh, number four. Don't be Jack. You know the Jack of all trades? And master of none. Right. Do a few things and be awesome at them. Be totally awesome. Right. You're wearing too many hats. Are you doing too many things? Are there too many items on your desk that should not be there because they're keeping you from the important things in life? Um, you know, I remember first time, you know, we started outsourcing some of the projects at home and some of the chores at home because as dual working family, you know, two parents working, our downtime, we want to spend quality family time together. And so some of those chores at home need to be outsourced. A lot of the things as an entrepreneur, um, administrative, sales, uh, website upkeep, online, uh, like all that data so engine many. and all that, yep. those can all be outsourced. And if you're still doing them, you your jack of all trades. Be the master at what you truly need to master. Finally, major in the majors. Do less shallow work. Focus on that deep stuff. Okay. There you go. So now that we've like put it out there, we're going to be kind of lazy for a week when we go to Cancun. So no, no, we're no. Working no, we're not going to be kind of lazy. We're going to give, uh, we're going to drop an EPU. I know, but it's going to look lazy. Mm, maybe. And sometimes it can look lazy and still be productive. Experience Pros University. What's that phone number people should call to sign up for that? Highlands Range Travel, 303-791-2311. Don't pay $2,400 for the entire course, is what we charge for the course. Instead, get your ticket, get your airfare, get your hotel, get your food, get your drink, get your sun, get your beach, get your cruise, and get your training, all for less than $2,000. What's the number again? Were you counting? I Did was. you count up to 10? Uh, lots. Lots. 303-791-2311. I'm going to throw that to you next time. What's the phone number? I have no clue. No. <laughs> There's a certain place in my head that says I don't need to know that. All right. Uh, hey, when we come back, we're going to talk about being the best. Stop making excuses. Be the best at something. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff it up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. We've unlocked the secret to helping you get online reviews, and it's by signing up for the Fan Bragging Contest. You only have until February 27th to get all the five-star reviews you could ever want. Check this out. Our friends at All Stitched and Glitzed Out received 60 positive reviews in just three weeks. The connecting experts received over 87, and whoa, Printing Done Quickly has over 120 positive reviews. How many do you need? How many do you want? Sign up today at experiencepros.com forward slash contest. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. 
www.ebfinance.com. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that save my business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that save my business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that save my business from amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that save my business today and grow your business the experience pros way. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm a 911 dispatcher. One of the resources we use to notify you of a threat to life or property, such as a wildfire, flood, or police action, is the Emergency Notification Service. You need to register your mobile or landline phone so we know what number to call. To find the link to your local service, go to 911colorado.org. That's 911colorado.org. This message is brought to you by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and your local station. Ken Clark, Freedom 560, this afternoon at 1 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros radio show. Hey, wouldn't you love it if somebody were singing this about you? Simply the best, better than all the rest. Wouldn't you love that if that was a testimonial about you and what you do? Well, it comes at a price. That price is 10,000 hours. I'm like, 10,000 what? Hours. He's like, dramatic pause. For correct. Effect. We're in show business. We are? Yeah. Okay. All right. 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. And we've all heard that, right? From, you know, mostly in, you know, for athletes. Yeah. They practice that 10,000 hour rule, uh, making sure that you really, you don't become really good at anything, an expert at anything until you hit that 10,000 hours. Well, it works not only in athletes athletics and music and any type of performance it works in business as well absolutely and and you know keeping in mind malcolm gladwell of course uh in his book outliers was the one who popularized this concept of ten thousand hours of deliberate deliberate practice turns you into an expert but that's an average well he says ten thousand hours is an average and deliberate practice 10,000 hours of deliberate practice that's not just going through the motions, right. not you, just showing up. You've heard it say it said that uh, practice makes perfect, and, and I have for years uh, said, no, practice makes permanent. Um, perfect practice makes perfect, and really perfection should not be the thing that we're striving for. Our friend Carrie uh, Conley put out a post the other day, said, uh, stop trying to be perfect, be excellent. Yeah, absolutely, because perfection doesn't exist. But are you excellent at everything that you're doing? You know, a lot of times we convince ourselves, I'm doing the best I can. No, you're not. Because if you have to say that out loud, you're not. And there's always room for improvement. Here's a little litmus test. I want you to raise your hand as high as you can. Raise your hand as high as you can. Okay, I got it. Okay, got it? Charlie's doing it. All right, now raise it a little higher. Okay. Oh, you could? Oh, oh. look what you did. There's your test. We yeah. can always do a little bit better than than what and then what we're already doing. I mean, excellence is all around us, and so here's some ways to to make sure that you're pers pursuing that. Surround yourself with the right group of people. You know, some of us have very uplifting and encouraging families. We come from a long lineage of experts in their fields, maybe experts in in, in athletics or or music or education, and so some of that trickles down because because that's what we absorb and that's what we're around and we kind of get a lot of that by osmosis. You do the same thing with it no matter what industry in. You put yourself in the middle of the experts that are doing what it is that you want to do. So not people that are just showing up, not just going through the motions, but are striving and they're continually learning and they're really putting their best out there. 
And rather than making excuses, they're running circles around the rest of us. You know, part of it relies on you, but not all of it. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. But the first part of it is, you know, genetics has something to do with it. You want to be great at something, you've got to be uh, open to your genetic disposition. I like how it says, tall and thin, try basketball, short and thick, weightlifting. Mom and dad are successful engineers. Give math a whirl, right? All of those things have, uh, have to do with the you and what you bring to the table, which is cool. But that's not the only story. The other side of it is surround yourself with a great team. Absolutely. I think, you know, and so we're talking about people. None of this has to do, I mean, yeah, there's a skill and, an, uh, you know, a lot of education that goes behind what you're doing. But the people around you, your coaches, your mentors, um, the, the friends you associate with, the, the team you put around you, um, it makes such it makes such a, a difference in your success because here's the thing left to your own devices that mean ugly nasty voice in your head is gonna tell you you can't do it that's right it's gonna say you know what stay home stay in bed don't go out tonight it's and cold if it's you are following that voice or the masses just remember in that word masses the m is usually silent mm. So make sure that you're surrounding yourself just with the right people. And maybe you can't do it all day long, but the people that you seek out are those that lift you up. So we've talked about your genetic disposition. We've talked about the 10,000 hour rule. We've talked about the fact that you need to surround yourself with people who are smarter and better at something than you are. Here's the final piece to uh, being the best. Be a giver. Be a giver. You know, if, if you... If you find that you give more than you seek to receive, there simply is something dynamic that happens, and, and it's going to be great. Well, those that are around successful people, they're usually pretty generous. You bet. Um, they're generous with their time. They're generous with their resources. You know, how often have you called somebody up and said, I want to pick your brain, and they just meet you for coffee? Um, you know, they, they'll do that for a while until they feel completely picked dry by people who don't take any of their advice and just are filled with excuses and then they don't want to do that anymore. Excuse them. All right. All right. So here's the thing. Um, what happens if you have only got 5,000 hour, hours and pretty good genetics and oh, what can you do? find the efforts, efforts and these methods to provide the powerful results? He says you don't need to work endlessly or be born brilliant. There's a simple formula we can all use to get a benefit. Number one, always work hard to improve. Work hard hard don't just show up don't right. just you know do the minimum you know the least that you can do always work hard to improve and to get better and to be excellent step two when choosing your tasks and strategies consider those natural gifts you may not be super uh, gifted in a number of different areas you may not be athletic at all but you might be a genius in other ways consider what you bring to the table number three pick a great team and get close with them, get in their space, be familiar with them, surround yourself, be where they are, go to where they're hanging out, take advantage of the information that they're sharing with you. And then finally, within reason, help others as much as possible. Help others. That act of kindness will endear yourself to them and others. It's a natural force, a natural law, if you will. The more you help, the more you will receive whatever it is you're looking for. Well, and you know, even if you don't become the expert, that Nobel Prize winner, that, you know, that trophy winner at the very end of the day, you're going to be happy. And isn't that the ultimate prize? I'm going to make me a trophy wife someday. <sighs> I am. Yeah, I'm going to be a what? trophy. You're going to build one? No. A no. statue? I am going to be the trophy wife. You? You bet. I cook to be and clean up while I cook. The trophy wife. Damn straight. Really? We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you are doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303-322-7919. 303-322-7919. Uh. 
computers. We can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in, all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at BinkleyIT.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorite on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. BizCard Express in Arvada is your marketing resource, standing ready to help you grow your business. Call them today at 303-260-7000. They'll help you identify cost-effective approaches to promote your brand. They can show you how to create a marketing campaign that's focused specifically on your target market. Use printing to complement your website and social media campaigns. They can help. Call them today, 303-260-7000. That's 303-260-7000. Or find them online at printingpromosforbiz.com. That's print and promos the number four biz.com there's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service and that's fan bragging friday on the experience pros radio show every friday the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business call 855 fan brag and change the way people treat people in business you can post your stories every day on the experience pros facebook page and call in on fridays for fan bragging friday at 855-326-2724 855-fan brag Tell Eric and Angel, and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. I remember the moment. moment. I'll never forget forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. Several of us were working to rescue a family. The house collapsed on top of the cellar door and trapped them. We had to use Humvees and heavy machinery to move massive trees and debris. We got them out. We helped a lot of people out. It felt good to know I could really make a difference. Because I'm a citizen soldier in the National Guard. Be there the moment your community needs you. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard, aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. John Rush, during the afternoon rush, today at 3 on KLZ 560. Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Excuse me? You sound like the Charlie Brown teacher. Uh, no, no, it wasn't the Charlie Brown teacher. It was the guy through the drive-thru who apparently doesn't know how to use a microphone. And, uh, hey, yeah. using this thing is harder than it looks. Well, that seems to be the truth. It is uh, harder than it looks. Do you ever find that what you say and what people hear are two very different things. Every single day with you. Uh, did I say with you out loud? Whoops. Okay, but here's why in yeah. that particular c- scenario. Mm. I don't play games. I don't mince around. I say exactly what I mean, and I mean what I say. Eric seems to think I'm speaking in code and that I've got some kind of secret message that hey, he hey, has hey, to hey. decipher. He's in the room. And that's just not true. When I say this, I mean this. Right, I didn't lady. mean something else. I didn't leave anything out. Teach and us. if I have a question, it's because I don't know the answer, and I was kind of hoping you would. And but if I for don't. Nothing. You're, You're in useless. trouble. Time out, mister. All right, go ahead. Okay. Tell us how to communicate effectively, Angel. All right, so I found uh, some simple things simple. That we can do. How about just shut up and listen for a little while would kind of help and could probably go a long way. You mean in order to communicate, I need to, uh, to, to, to go simple? It's simple. Number one is use small words. Oh. Salutations, commendable gentlemen. How are you on this elegant evening? Are you feeling wholesome today? Pleasant to encounter you. Have a glorious night. How about speak the language of your intended audience? Otherwise, you will not reach the people you want to reach. Um, Avoiding words that might force someone to reach for the dictionary. So early on in... (laughs) You always tell this story. 
It's a really good one. It's still true. Because it, it proves the point. Listen, only quite a fatuous individual would question the use of mentally salubrious nature of, of sophisticated, I can't even say it, sophisticated commentary as demonstrated in this public statement. So Eric used to write lengthy, he still does, but he's gotten much better at the whole brevity as an art form. Survival of the fittest. Because yeah, I won't read them. I won't read those emails. Uh, but he used to send these really long, lengthy emails that he would labor over. Attention to details, a gift. It would require, from my part, to read his email, a dictionary, a thesaurus, and a Bible. It was like I was going to school just to read an email. So one time he sends this very eloquent, cleverly crafted. I don't think I like the tone. Email to Angel. I got out my dictionary. I got out my thesaurus. I had the Bible for the Bible verse references that I didn't know what he was referring to. And I replied back with, thank you. I am cognizant of the information about your extreme tendency to receive personal pleasure and extreme gratification from decoding my written language. He was so mad that I did not uh, put the same effort into the reply that he had put into writing it. Thank you. But using small words, um, just allow, you know, use small words, even though you can use a big word all and right, express right. your education. Small words, but four it allows letters, people, because two, have you ever letters. had... Okay. Have you ever had people, they smile and nod like, tr because they don't want to ask the question, yeah. but you know they don't understand and they're not going to get it and they're just smiling and nodding at you, so All they're right. not going to get it. I'm going to use four word, four, four letter words and two letter words. Go. What's the next next one? Use so short sentences. Use short sentences? Yeah. Bite me. That is a complete sentence. Oh, that's true, but usually I'm the one using that phrase. I'm rarely on the receiving end of that one, but I am often on the receiving end of... Just trying to do what the teacher said. You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, use short sentences. Be as brief as possible. Put periods instead of ands. Don't go on and on. Short sentences. Um, credibility is as important as philosophy. So Eric's quite the philosopher. I am. And, and I philosophize. Here's the thing. People have to believe it for themselves. Just because you believe it, you can't believe it enough for you and somebody else. They have to believe it in order to buy Which is into why I it. go into detail. Yeah, yeah, but you can't. You, just because the more you talk, it's just more you believing what you believe. I think you just like to philosophy poop on me. Consistency matters. Yes, be consistent. Be consistent. Um, you know, here's the thing is we always, we're changing and we're flippity gibbets. And today we say it, do it this way. And tomorrow we say, do it that way. and. And Eric's hysterical at this one. It's a five-syllable word, I'm, Liberty Jimmy. I'm an incredible news journalist. I, I'm just, you know, this is just for fun. I, you know, I'm really f looking for love. I could care less about love. I am taking this all very seriously. I am just an actor. I <laughs> like what you're up. saying. No, I really don't. Move <laughs> on. Um, okay, so here's one. Sound and texture of language should be as memorable as the words themselves. Now, this is where this person lost me. Are we going to be brief? Are we going to use short sentences? Sound Are we going to speak to the texture uh, matter. audience? Yeah. The string of words that have the same first letter, the same sound. The oh, same, just let's just do it this the way. Same cadence. Let's is just do it this way. More memorable than a random collection of sounds. Je me peux pas qui. A cause de ton. So now he's speaking in French. Right? And now we don't understand. Sound and texture matter, though. You loved it no matter what it said, even though I said my name is Bucky because of my teeth. Yeah, it's not a very good so? picture. But the so? sound sound and texture and the cadence of. And so, yes, I know I get a little on my soapbox sometimes and only dogs can hear me and I try to bring it down a notch. Um, but, you know, the cadence in which you share it, um, you know, some fluctuations in your voices instead of being you know, monotone. I'll encourage the ear to tune in and listen. Pomeranians are people too. Uh, Only uh, dogs could hear you. But they have feelings. They want to hear you. I have no response to that. All right. Uh, if you want to effect effectively communicate, uh, visualize and create a visual picture. Paint a for vivid others. picture. That's right. You know, rather than, you know, the whole idea of, of data and facts, you know, people tune them out. But if you can paint it, <sighs> into a story that people can relate to. You can picture the email that he sent me, right? And you can picture me sitting there with my big 
thick giant textbooks all open around me looking things up and trying to figure out how do I reply back to him you can visualize that that was good you can visualize my stabbing bleeding wounded heart when I got a two-word response thank you a great way to communicate of course is to pause to listen and to ask questions just are they are they tracking with you are they keeping up do they have are they on the same page Do they have any questions thus far in it gives you a chance to breathe and stop just listening to your own voice because sometimes that happens and that question may be is that what you heard <laughs> and if it is start over back to the top well you might need to repeat or rephrase you don't just have to keep adding adding more and more you're just kind of piling on I didn't get you in the first place so all these added words aren't really helping me they're just causing more and more confusion um, also providing context and explaining relevance sometimes you have to give people the why of a message before you tell them why you're you know what you're asking for and so uh, here's a good example. Last night, I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting to pick up my son from rehearsal. Um, and it's like 15 minutes later, and he hasn't come out. So I text him, are you still in rehearsal? No. Well, where are you? Because now the parking lot's empty. Right. And I'm thinking maybe he's left or yeah. somebody else picked him up or something. He says, I'm inside waiting for you. I said, well, I'm out in the parking lot right in front of the door. And have been since five minutes before we started. You know, they got right, broke out. He says, you could have led with that. <laughs> you could have led with that. And I'm so here. and so what did Angel do? She apologized to his her son. He's right. It actually became the phrase of the night because there were so many things like different conversations that we have and we start going into and asking or describing or whatever. And then but the real reason or the real information comes later. Yeah. Lead with that. Lead with that. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. We are really excited about our trip to Cancun, Mexico. Absolutely. Um, we have a very small group of people going and would like a few more to come along with us. So if you're on the fence, pick up the phone and call Highlands Ranch Travel, 303-791-2311. It's good for business. You know, imagine just spending a week, a full week, surrounded by entrepreneurs that are successful that we're going to learn from, we're going to share ideas with, we're going to dream big with, we're going to do it at the Dreams Sands Resort in Cancun, Mexico, all-inclusive, five-star resort. We stayed at the Dreams in Cabo San Lucas last year. Last year. Uh, so clean, so oh. friendly, so fun. The service is amazing. The you food know, was great. The drinks we, flew. We sat flowed. by the beach all or the yep. pool all day long, and we danced all night long. It was just so much fun. Um, and would love for you to come with us. Call Highland Ranch Travel 303 791 2311. Um, we do now have just kind of the version, the uh, the hot off the presses. It's coming. Our second edition of lists that saved my business, and all of the guests coming along with us to Cancun are going to get the first it is copies. The, it is the textbook for uh, Experience Pros University, and uh, of course, there's a workbook that goes along with it. But it is uh, it's very exciting to have the second edition out. It is. It is. It's coming. So uh, check it out on Amazon. Uh, you can get a copy of lists that save my business. The second edition comes out in May so you can get like a the collector series you know the first edition and then the second edition and um, so much fun good stuff hey uh, folks we do have to take a top of the hour break here uh, for a station ID but we want you to, uh, to to go check out the extreme customer service directory and fan brag about somebody say something nice about somebody make it a part of your everyday business plan and we promise that it will actually help you in your business development where you go your brand follows, and kindness does beget kindness. Go ahead and try it. And if you don't think you've got enough time to do that, everybody lift your hand as high as you can in the air, and now lift it a little further. You can. Can't is a four-letter word. We'll be back. That was good, wasn't it? After these messages, it was. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries, Angel Tussie and air information you can contact you by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.
Haystack Help Radio can now be heard at noon weekdays on KLZ 560. DVDs for Vets is asking listeners to donate new or used DVDs for the benefit of military veterans who otherwise cannot easily obtain them on their own. With limited entertainment, vets in rehab can use what many of us take for granted every day. To donate new or used DVDs or to learn more about this worthy cause, please go to DVDs4Vets.org. That's DVDs, the number 4, Vets.org. John Rush here, host of Drive Radio. How much does owning a car really cost? It may be more than you think, especially if you don't maintain it properly. Dennis Brewster from Extreme Automotive and Jeff Kitty from Larry's Automotive will join us this week to help answer this question. And of course, we'll take all your calls, answer all your questions. That's Drive Radio every Saturday morning from 10 to 1 right here on KLZ 560. KLZ AM 560. KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at KLZ560radio.com. KLZ 560. A Crawford Broadcasting God and Country Station. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm Kay Long. A verdict in the American Sniper trial. The Blaze Radio's Greg Moore reports. The man accused of killing American Sniper Chris Kyle will be behind bars for the rest of his life. We, the jury, find the defendant Eddie Ray Routh guilty of the felony offense of capital murder as charged in the indictment. Eddie Routh found guilty for the 2013 killings of Kyle and friend Chad Littlefield. Defense attorneys unsuccessfully arguing Ralph was insane at the time of the murders. Prosecutors arguing the ex-Marine knew what he was doing because he stole Kyle's pickup and pistol after the killings. They also believe Ralph was showing psychosis from having smoked marijuana on the day of the shootings. Some Southwest Airlines planes grounded. The Blaze Radio's Robin Walensky. A situation at Southwest, the airline grounding planes, Boeing 737s, after it misses a deadline to inspect them. More than 100 planes, 128 to be exact, needing to be inspected. The area of concern, the backup hydraulic systems used to control the rudder if the main system on the plane fails. Now, 80 flights canceled Tuesday. A reported 19 flights canceled today. The airline making a deal with the FAA to complete inspections on the rest of the jet within the next few days. Wisconsin's governor talking about a possible 2016 presidential run. The Blaze Radio's Tom Peace with more. Possible presidential hopeful Scott Walker calling out President Obama, accusing him of failing to lead with a Republican House and Senate in place. The Wisconsin governor says he's been able to work well with Democratic leadership in place in his state. I think you have to lead. I think you look across the country, governors are doing it one state after another. Uh, They're leading. It's one thing to fight, but it's another thing to win. What we've done in Wisconsin is fight and win. Walker on Fox News is on the record. He's scheduled to address the Conservative Political Action Conference this week. He's taken steps recently that hint at an announcement that he'll run for president in 2016. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Truth lives here. You've been listening to the Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560. Grassroots Radio Colorado with Chris Cook. Tonight at 6 on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of Lists That Save My Business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. The word is kumquat, K-U-M-Q-U-A-T, kumquat. Used in a sentence, my favorite kumquat is in the studio. Woo-hoo! you guys. I'm so excited to be physically here with Angel and Eric. Pam. Is this the best day ever? Atherton. How are you? I'm fine, and I'm so excited to be here. This is just great. We have been anticipating this for a very, very long time. It's long overdue for us to have media mogul Pam Atherton in the studio. She's co-hosting with us the entire hour. I know, right? We get her the entire hour. And you're in town, though, because on... Saturday. On Saturday, right. Yeah, Saturday. uh, You know Polly Latovsky. You've had her on your show several times. She is with My Word Publishing, and they are doing a workshop on Saturday, but it's not just for people who are authors. It's for people who own businesses. It's for people who um, have products or services, and it's how to get more media attention. Because you've probably seen people on television and think, how did that guy get on? I can do that better. I can do that better, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to do it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're pretty excited, and we've uh, we've kind of corralled Pam in. She's doing something special just for Experience Pro just members for you guys. this afternoon, so mm-hmm. we're pretty yeah. pleased I'm with excited that. about that, too. Tell our listeners how they can look you up online and stalk you on the internet. Well, you can find me at the radio show that I do online. is called a aclosserlookradio.com, and then My Word Publishing will have a link on the front page, so mywordpublishing.com, that takes you directly to the, um, the, the workshop on, on, on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. I love that. Now, now, Pam. And I'm uh, on Facebook too, just like you guys are. I started off, I led with uh, the, the spelling and dictionary definition, or not definition, but uh, uh, use in a sentence of the word kumquat. Right. Do you remember? I do. Why? Yeah, we were talking about the five-step framework, which we're going to talk about today in our workshop. And so we talked about it as a, in a business angle, but then we talked about it in a personal angle, and we tried to get you a date. Right. And so we put you in the uh, food section of a market. Yes. And so it was like, are you, you know, you might be saying, oh, look at these lovely kumquats. Right, and I, I interjected at that point saying, I don't believe I have ever seen nor heard of a kumquat. What, what is a kumquat? They were smaller than he thought they were going to <laughs> I thought they were like a lime size, right? Yeah, or they're, yeah, yeah. Most, they're like most grape size than I or grape they would tomato be. size. But now, now, Pam, uh, since that day, yes. and every at least every month uh, since, every single time you come onto the show by way of a, a phone call or come into the studio, we find a way to work the word kumquat in. Yeah, it's like, it, what it's is it thing. that they used to do uh, with the duck that came down? It's like if you could use the word in a sentence and nobody could figure out the Groucho Marx, there right? You go, right. You know, could you, what's my line or whatever it was. Yes. And it was, you had to be able to say the word naturally within naturally, a sentence. It just like fit in. Have you ever eaten a kumquat before? You know, if I have, I was much younger. And, I, you know, your memory goes as I, you age. I, I have we never, have a treat for you, yeah. Pam. I see. We have we a bowl, bowl of kumquats. Of kumquats. kumquats. Now, they yeah. are. They're like little Jim, you have grape some good... tomatoes. I mean, they're tiny. But they're orange. Yeah. And they're orange. They're and like they little look orange like. Things. And they have a little uh, stem at the I have to warn you. Uh, okay, so you eat them skin and all. You, you skin eat the and skin? All. I have to warn you. It looks like a little citrus. It is really tart. Uh, the fruit on the inside is very tart, and the you just pop the whole thing and, and chew. And the more you chew, the, the tarter more, it gets. No, the sweeter it gets because the okay. sweet part is the skin. So you just have to make sure that you you be careful there. All, all right? right. So that right, kind so of makes go. sense. Okay, here we go. We're all going to do it. We're going to eat we're the gonna do it. Watch yep. our faces. Okay. Well, actually, we probably shouldn't all be mm. biting and chewing at the same time. Somebody should talk. Oh, mm. it is a tart. It's mm-hmm. kind of, yeah, but not bad. You can swallow the seeds or spit them out. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. Seeds in there? I'll just, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like eating a tangerine or like a It is a tangerine. That's perfect. Yeah. But the more you chew. Mm-hmm. And, but you also do gets. feel like you're eating the rind of the tangerine. Yeah. I've never yeah. ate the rind of. A tangerine? Mm-hmm. Me neither. No. no. There you have it. All right. Well, that's Come interesting. Quest. But they, they, they use them for salsas. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Why, why Sorry. Sorry. Are you going to so, be okay? Salsa is great. I'm just um, well, not my favorite fruit. It's just like food, food <laughs> They make day. marmalade, too. Right. Yeah. It is food day here in the studio. We brought in, of course, the bowl of kum- kumquats uh, for our favorite kumquat here in the studio with us. We'll Thank be snacking you. on those. And then uh, we have a plate of chicken wings that we're going to get to sample uh, in the commercial break. We wings. won't make you listen to us slurp and, and, and uh, gnaw on our chicken wings, but um, we're going to talk about that. That's we're coming up it. next. You're listening to the Food Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Your IT investment is not just another line item in your budget. You need to think of IT as a profitable investment with a direct effect on your bottom line. C Squared Computer Consulting offers 24 by 7 system monitoring and optimization, which means reliability, performance, and productivity. Call C Squared Computer Consulting today to realize your IT investment's potential. 303 933 1113 or find C Squared Computer Consulting at c2cc.net. 
We've unlocked the secret to helping you get online reviews, and it's by signing up for the Fan Bragging Contest. You only have until February 27th to get all the five-star reviews you could ever want. Check this out. Our friends at All Stitched and Glitzed Out received 60 positive reviews in just three weeks. The Connecting Experts received over 87, and whoa, Printing Done Quickly has over 120 positive reviews. How many do you need? How many do you want? Sign up today at experiencepros.com forward slash contest. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. Well, that moment, we arrived in the scene. The storm had nearly destroyed the area. This was our own community. Friends, family, people we grew up with, went to school with. We were there to help. Several of us were working to rescue a family. They made it down to the storm cellar. But the house collapsed on top of the cellar door and trapped them. We had chainsaws going and we had these humvees and heavy machinery to move massive trees and debris. We got them out. We helped a lot of people out. It felt good to know I could really make a difference. Right here, close to home, in my state. It was one of those life-changing moments where I realized I am making a difference in these people's lives and mine. I'm a citizen soldier in the National Guard. You can serve our time and be there the moment your community needs you. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and the station. I'm John Walsh. I'm Ed Smart. When a child is abducted, time is critical. That's why Amber Alert is so important. The public is notified when a child is abducted. It's a partnership between broadcasters, law enforcement, transportation, and you. Thanks for making Amber Alert happen. Haystack Help Radio can now be heard at noon weekdays on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Yo, tell me what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. No, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, 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 all right, so Eric is in his complete happy place. He's got a mouthful of chicken wings and his favorite kumquat in the studio, Pam Atherton. Oh, yes. We do have a full studio today. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it is the Food Channel. I think that is Eric's secret dream is to host his yeah. own food uh, radio show, maybe television show, program. He wants to travel the world. Keep talking. You want to keep talking. <laughs> All right, well, in the studio with us is Chef Tim Ziegler, Chef Zig, the chef behind the chefs. For more than 25 years, he has immersed himself into the world of spices. It's really a fun place to be. There's a lot happening in spices, and and it's great to get out there and, and work with chefs and show them what the flavors are about. Well, and you, you chef, you brought in uh, the, these chicken wings, which score number one favorite food. Thank you. Uh, and second of all, I smelled them first because you know I, I, aroma. We, we we eat with our eyes, we eat with our nose, we eat with everything, and. There, I noticed a little cinnamon. Absolutely. And I thought, well, that's different. There's, the, I gave you two wings. I gave you a balsam, a balsamic chicken wing, a balsamic poultry rub that we they use that uses a balsamic um, vinegar powder. I'd rub that on anything. It's awesome <laughs> stuff. You can put it on fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on my asparagus. arm, if you could. It's, it's really amazing. <laughs> I was going to say, let's be careful. <laughs> and then the, the, what you're tasting the cinnamon in is a recipe we call a Bangkok Thai. Yeah. And so it has a curry with a little bit of cinnamon in it, a little bit of honey powder for some sweetness, and a little bit of sesame seed that adds that savory note to it. Yeah. Oh. yeah what, what got you into, to, to start it with these? It's a long story, but we I've been doing spices about 26 years because these fat little fingers do not decorate food. They don't have that manual dexterity that ice carving and cocoa painting, you know, that kind of chef. Sure. But flavor I know. All and right. flavor, every ounce of this was professionally acquired. And so flavors are what I've been doing for a long time and work with some of the best chefs in the region and nationally and do recipe and flavor development for them. 
So you I'm know, the chef behind the chefs. You read a lot, you know, as we're trying to be healthier these days, the spices that we're using really are coming more into play as we're trying to eliminate some fats and high cholesterol items. We're now really reaching into our spice cupboard to improve the, the flavors. But there's a lot of confusion and a lot of stuff sometimes mixed into those spices that, I don't know, maybe we might have allergies to. All allergens have to be declared. But if you look at the typical ingredient statement on a, on a spice packet, one of the things you're going to notice is that what I, I don't have to disclose the recipe to you, but I do have to tell you about anything that's artificial, anything that has nutritive value to it, any of the allergens, the eight allergens that are recognized by the FDA. Is there soy in this? It doesn't look like it. There is no MSG. So I use no MSG in the blends. I use no dyes, no artificial ingredients. No. Uh, is MSG code for soy? MSG is monosodium glutamate, right? It's an amino acid, right? Right. And it has it has an umami effect on your palate. Right. Wonderful flavor enhancer. You go to you go on the web and you'll find twenty thousand websites that'll say MSG is the worst thing that's ever happened to the palate. Yeah. You find twenty thousand websites that say it's the best thing that ever happened. I worked for a, I on I um <clears throat> interned for a chef who said Ziegler. <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing wrong with MSG. The Chinese have been using it for 4,000 years. Shut up. <laughs> and so Hartman was quite convinced that MSG was a wonderful flavor. It occurs naturally. It occurs naturally in tomatoes, naturally in Parmesan cheese, naturally in the mushrooms. Now, now Chef, hold on for just a minute because uh, you know Pam Atherton is here. And uh, you talk about umami. Umami. <laughs> uh, th this, this woman has a palate that is more refined than most people I've ever known. And she says, I'll only have uh, something that you make, Eric, if you put saffron in in it. So I just went out to the store to go buy saffron. That stuff's expensive. It really is. Why are those little petals do the, 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 the stamens? The, the things 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 cost what they cost for a reason. They're the male parts of a flower. Right. And there's three of them per crocus sativa, which is the flower that's made this right? saffron is, is grown. About ninety percent of the world's crop comes from Iran. And they're balanced ten percent from Afghanistan and Spain. Really? It is a it is a crop that's used by families to increase their free dollars for ki kids' education, typically. And so saffron is a hand-handled, hand-picked item and hand-roasted. The thread that comes out of the three little flowers, right. there's one between each flower, yeah. and you separate the flowers from the stigmas. 7,000 of those threads per an ounce of saffron. Right. That's why it's so expensive. Can you imagine picking 7,000? Can you imagine it's removing crazy. the male parts of, of that many flowers? Uh, it, it, just, it is. Right? God made saffron to go with rice. Yes. Tim, what do you recommend the shelf life to be on spices in our that we purchase? Like, how soon should we be using them? Typically within a year to two years. The, the use of whole spices, there's less surface area, and so there's less oxidation of the, of the volatile oils within the spice. So you want to use a whole product grind it prior to use. A lot of chefs are roasting their spices now and grinding them and then using them. Garam masala you mentioned, Eric, yeah, yeah. and that's that's a great flavor profile that uses that. I use that. We roast spices for chefs and doing proprietary blending for them. It's a fascinating ingredient. About one and a half percent of a total of a restaurant's food cost is in spicing. Wow. All right, so I got one last question for you. Uh, Angel loves her ice cream, right? Okay. And and I say, you know, what what do you want? Do you want uh, the butter pecan? Do you want uh, the 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 mint chip? She says, I prefer vanilla. And and why is that the most expensive? It's the most plain ice cream out there. And it's the least expensive. Now, if no, you're using expensive. pure vanilla. Oh, if you're oh yeah, using I don't want that vanilla. cheap no, no, no. vanilla she ice wants cream. Pure vanilla. No, no imitation beans. stuff. And the extraction of the bean and the, and the little bitty seed, you get a tremendous flavor. Vanilla is essential in the production of chocolate as well as in ice cream. And so vanilla is very expensive because of how much we like it. Right. But why is it in cheap ice cream? Because it's artificial vanilla. Yeah, that's I can see, taste we the don't difference do that. there. There's a huge yeah. difference. Even when you between. buy the the vanilla um, extract right. at home, Pure there's a big dif extract. difference. Uh, imitation just almost tastes like sugar water to me. Like yeah. doesn't really have that vanilla flavor. Do you ever pick up wood notes in an artificial vanilla? A lot of it is made from wood pulp. Oh, see, oh. now you're getting fancy. Oh. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But pure, there's more pure vanilla labeled and consumed than is produced worldwide. You explain that to me. Mm. Because 
spice adulteration has happened for thousands of years. I'm against adulteration. Yeah. And so... But it, he's not against spice. No. And anything he can do to spice, spice it up, up is a good... All right, Chef Zig, where do... How do we follow you and stay in touch with all the yummy stuff that you've you got You can find my on? Facebook page, Chef Zig, and then chefzig.com, so Z-I-E-G.com. I, am, I work for Italco Food Products. I do flavor and recipe development for them, and we work with thousands of the best chefs in the country. Fabulous. Well, thanks for coming in today and for all the goodies. No, not a lot. Thanks for the chicken. Great. I appreciate your time. Love it. Love it. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk coming up next. You're listening to Angel and Eric and Pam Yay. on the Experience Bros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train the ERM way. Find them online at Extreme Relationship relationshipmanagement.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000204322. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at door.state.ca. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. BizCard Express and Centennial offers fantastic print and sign packages and tremendous value for your small business. Check out their $99 Jumpstart package with 500 business cards, 500 flyers, 100 forms, and two car magnets. You heard right, only $99. Call today, 303-771-2244. Need a little more oomph? Ask for their Grow Your Business package, ranging from $500 to $995. And you'll be amazed at how much you get when you partner with BizCard Express and Centennial. They'll meet or beats anyone's prices. 303-771-2244. That's 303-771-2244 or online at print and promos, the number four, biz.com. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. It's time for business tips and insights. It is Wednesday, and therefore, it means we get to talk to our mortgage maven. Cheryl Braunschweiger with ALMC Mortgage, where all loans must close. And they do. Cheryl, welcome to the show. 
Hi there. How are you? Sharon, we're doing fan flipping tastic. We just had chicken wings, and I'm in my happy space. <laughs> you are a foodie, that's for Indeed. sure. Indeed. Cheryl, what, what are we talking about today? Well, just because of the market in general, we are definitely seeing some increase and improvement um, in houses and the, and the availability. So that means buyers need to be even more ready than before because houses are coming on the market and going under contract immediately. Rates are low, and so as a home buyer, you want to be ready to make that offer and get it accepted immediately. Okay. Now, we've been talking about that for years, Cheryl. Like, you're going to lose out if you're not ready. Are people still coming to the table ill-prepared? Yes, and we've been talking about it for years. I sound like a broken record. I'd like to stop that. <laughs> So if you are listening out there and you are wanting to be a home buyer or even a home refinancer, being ready to take advantage and jump on interest rates when they dip, when they go down, before they go up is going to be your best, best, best financial strategy. No, your best Sellers financial strategy wanting. is to call Cheryl Brunschweiger. Well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yes? Yes. Is there a phone please. number? Yes, 303 Six nine six six nine three three. Now, Cheryl, before they call you, you probably want them to have some information with them or access to some different things that you're going to ask them questions about. What should they have in front of them? So the three things that I want to know are how's your credit, how much money do you make, and what kind of loan, kind of down payment situation are you looking for? Because based on the answers to those questions, literally three questions, I can formulate your pre-approval and your financial strategy for you in 15 to 20 minutes. So you want to so, know, what does our credit look like? So we should have some clue um, to... You should have some idea. You want to know yeah, how much everybody money knows we whether make. or not they pay their bills on time. Yeah, you know that 50-car um, pile up on the interstate? Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then how much money we have for a down payment? Yes. Okay. And you should have some idea of how much money you make. Okay, whether it's your retirement um, or whether it's your self-employment income or your employment income employed by somebody else. We all have an idea, right? But it's interesting when I talk to, especially married couples, how I ask, how much does your husband or wife make? And they're like, oh, I'm not sure. Okay, that's super important to be sure of Isn't when that you call me. funny? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I want you to tell me how much I qualify uh, I for. It's just I'm not sure I want to tell you. <laughs> well, that too. And, you know, I have my ways. I have my ways of asking the right questions and finding out, you know, what it is I need to know. Um, but it also goes to that it's interesting the amount of households that don't share some of that information that are not on the same page financially with their spouse. And that makes things very difficult to qualify um, and, and make sure you can pay a large investment like your home. You know what, these are, these are good questions just to know the answer to whether or not you're in the market for a new home. But rates are amazing. This is a really good time to jump in if you are renting or you want to refinance or even buy that second home. Cheryl can help. She's going to walk you through it. She's incredible for her customers. They love working with her. She makes the, fun, the process fun and easy, and she's going to help you find the right program for you. Cheryl, how do they get in touch with you? So the best way is to call me on my, on my uh, phone at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. All loans must close. And they do. Thanks for the tip this week, Cheryl. You bet. All right. All right. We're going to turn our, our attention over to our friend Jack, who is here in the studio with us from Riviera Finance. And if you don't know Riviera Finance. You don't know Jack. Jack, welcome. Hello. Don't you love all our little taglines, Pam? Should, should I? Should I? <laughs> we just make them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know Jack. Uh, right, <laughs> right. But earlier you said not to be Jack, so what? I took that personally. Right. Oh, right. Eric did say that. Don't be Jack. That's exactly and right. I, you don't want to be Jack. I could remember if today was but Wednesday or Jack. not. If you were going to be here in the studio. Whatever you do at the airport, don't say hi, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> say hello, Mr. Loudon. What's going on, buddy? How are you? We're doing fantastic. What's, uh, nice what's the food time? here? It is nice, isn't it? It's all gone. Do you want to try one of my <laughs> no, chicken wings? No, okay. Oh, no, there are kumquats. Um, you know, I just thought I'd talk about um, maybe a specific industry that, that 
uh, we're seeing some growth in here and, and uh, have some calls on. That would be the temporary staffing. Temporary and staffing? Temporary staffing. Really? Um, uses uh, Riviera or companies like mine quite a bit, uh, mainly because the cash flow shortages, I mean, the cash flow need is, is so great. If you think about a staffing company, you may have 100 or 200 employees. And they're going out to 10 or 15 different companies and they're sending out their invoices for net 30. They still have to make payroll every week. Every week, right? A lot of times, yeah. Sure. And they still have to you know, pay their 941s, their payroll taxes, right. you know, and which is only due quarterly, but. And it was just due and they're coming up normally. Around the quarter. Right. <laughs> yeah, these quarters it, come up quick. It's all it easier. You, you don't lose sleep if you do it along with these payrolls. All right. So like, Riviera oh. Finance specializes in taking care of those accounts receivable, the good ones, right? Right. We'll take those account receivables. We will verify that they're in the system and, and uh, to be paid. And then we will advance up to 93% on a uh, uh, on a staffing company. We'll advance 93% of the invoices so they can make payroll. You Get your money tomorrow. They, once they submit it to us, we verify it and within 24 hours, the money's in our bank account. Yeah, you make payroll, you keep sending out your staff to all these different companies, you get to keep the doors open, the wheels turning, and the companies that you're working with, if they are net 30 days, which sometimes works for you, sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes you say that 30 turns into 45. 45 exactly, and, and there's 60. there's other staffing companies out there that I know of that, that makes them pay net 14 or net seven because sure, they, because they don't have the cash flow cycle to make payroll well how much more advantageous would your business be or how much quickly could you grow if you went to all these other industries and said look I know you're using a temporary staffing company what if I could just give you net 30 terms oh they right? would love that, that right bet. because it, that's usually the terms they're in they're waiting to be paid on their end from their vendors too right, right. and then you still don't have to worry about making payroll and like i said we will advance 93 percent of the invoice once we get paid uh we will reconcile and pull out our fee and rebate the difference every month jack this makes so much sense and then uh you know you that that reconciliation uh it ends up only being two or three percent really in in the end yeah it, it's it's you know be as low as two yeah um, usually it's two percent for you know 25 or 30 days so if it goes 30 days then they can you know you're looking at two percent and as we've talked about in the past cash is king cash dictates the clock doesn't start until i give you money so if you know it pays in that 30 and you can wait five days you know right just give yourself a little cushion you know you're only going to be paying at two percent it's a good deal you're going to get your cash get your cash right now uh, go to your accounts uh, receivables department and have them pull up that number and imagine that balance sitting in your bank account make payroll expand pay your taxes anything get your cash we love working with jack loud he's good for business and he's here local in the denver tech center absolutely and you know staffing was just a uh, an example we work right. with a variety of different companies that are all business to business you bet. Uh, especially if you're in the service industry we can definitely help you out yeah. transportation as well i Let's actually like that you talk about specific industries because it helps people just get in their heads would that work for me right and he does uh, help how many billi billions? Billions. billions. We, we purchased over a billion dollars last year um, in accounts receivables for companies. And you've been in business for 47 years or something like that. 1969. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Oh. All right. Uh, phone number, please. 303-409-7706. Uh, 303-409-7706. If you don't know Riviera Finance. You don't know Jack. Jack Thanks, thanks guys. for coming in. All right, folks. We'll be right back. And get, well, guess what? You better drop and give us 20 because you're about to have a majorly organized day. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. 
Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. You need more customers, and you need to keep the ones you already have. List That Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List That Save My Business is the book with easy-to-use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List That Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List That Save My Business today and grow your business the experience program. Way. I, remember the- I, remember the- I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. The stores take rupture, and for miles, the chemicals were pushing up against the riverbanks. This was a big, big deal, and it was going to have serious impact on communities up and down the river. I remember the moment this local guy came up to me and said, they call the guard out for this stuff? You probably thought we were all about hurricanes, tornadoes, fighting Mother Nature. Hey, it's a chemical spill. It's a disaster. It affects the water supply, threatens wildlife. We're talking about the health of entire communities and people's livelihoods. You bet we're ready for these kinds of things. We were out there with booms to prevent the spill from expanding. We're responsible for protecting and monitoring the sensitive wetlands. I also remember the moment that same guy came up to me and said, I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't called the guard up. Learn more about how you can protect your friends, families, neighbors, and the environment. Everything that makes up your community. Go to NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. That music makes us smile, but not nearly as much as our next guest. Our dear friend, Angela Cody Roger, founder of Major Mom the largest organizing company here in Colorado and taking over the world. Angela's former major in the U.S. Air Force? Air Force. In the Air Force. Angela, thank you so much for your service and welcome. Thanks for being here today. Hello, Eric and Angel. I want you to stop what you're doing right now and look around and make sure your office looks organized. Oh, boy. Well, Um, well. uh, (laughs) Um, Hold on, I gotta go. We weren't expecting you, Angela, to peek in because, you know, it's over the phone, so we thought we had a little pass. (laughs) No, we have a no-notice inspection going on right now in your office, and we're making sure you are going to stay productive in 2015. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. Well, I'll tell you what, being organized, of course, with Major Mom is not a luxury. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. Sure. All right. To help us get organized, Major Mom. First, Angela, tell us a little bit about Major Mom and how you got started. Well, we got started um, over six years ago. I was a major in the Air Force, and my nickname became Major Mom. I would get home, and my husband would say, Major Mom is home. And um, then my, my son was born, and I decided that military life and motherhood were completely incompatible for the kind of mom that I just dreamed of being. And so I quit my job in the Air Force after 14 years, became a stay-at-home mom, and then boom, boom. my husband's real estate business crashed oh. and burned. This, this is a happy show. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, that's, the, that's the good and the bad. So then he looked at me and said, you need to, you're going to need to go back to work and do something. And I'm like, I just quit my career to stay home. So after a year and a half staying home, you know, and and doing dabbling in some real estate, I decided to start an organizing company to help people love living in their homes again. And that has been going on for six years. We have 12 liberators that work the Colorado metro area, 
And it has been such a fabulous journey watching people love living in their homes and working in their offices. Angela, it's Pam Atherton, and I, I know you, you've been on panels that we've done for our business CPR workshop, and I just want to say you've gotten some great publicity for um, Major Mom as well. You've been on some top national TV shows. People really resonate with what you are saying. Thank you, Pam, and I, have, I remember those panels that we have done together, and it is such a a hot topic getting organized and of course it does help being a, a veteran owned business and woman owned business all these are hot buttons and hot topics um, but more importantly we we all the people that work with major mom are actually born to organize we love to organize we enjoy it and i know some of the listeners out there right now are thinking what Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you people are weird. Now, Angela, I, I have two challenges to staying organized. She's looking at me again. And it's uh -oh. super fun. You know, you get, you get your desk cleaned up or your home or your closet, whatever. But then, like, it doesn't stay that way or the people I'm around don't keep it Stop that way. Stop looking at me. It's so, yeah. Do you have any tips for how to kind of get everybody on board? Yes. The most important um aspect of keeping your home and office organized is getting buy-in from everybody in the family or those co-workers like Eric. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Jamie Pelbucky, it goes to the door. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the best way to do that, Angel, is to actually have a conversation about what would work for everybody in the house or the office, saying, here's what I'd like to do. Here is where I'd like to keep these papers. Here's the process I want to implement. Does that work for you? A lot of times, we women and men who are organized like to implement our systems and think, well, why can't they just follow my system? Right. Have you ever but seen her system? we've never talked to them about the system. <laughs> they don't even understand the system, and they're just looking at you like, hey, I'm not going to follow your system. Listen, yeah. Major, if I it were alphabetical, I'd follow it all day long. I do have a unique <laughs> filing system, but I don't ever make Eric look for it or find it because I know uh, she that he says, won't. why don't you just stay there? I'll take care of that. <laughs> okay, so so Angela, <laughs> you know, mechanism, Eric. Right. I, and this is probably where Eric's coming from. Like, what's the big deal? You know, it's so it's not organized. I've got piles or it's here. I like, know that that paper is on this desk. I can find it. So why, yes. why is it so important? It's so important because the human being and the human spirit needs and craves order at all times deep down on a subconscious level. And when we don't have it, it creates depression, lack of motivation, and unfortunately in business, it can create all kinds of havoc where you actually don't invoice clients. You don't send out those follow-up messages, those thank you cards. You just don't get stuff done. Hold on, hold on, Missy. That's true, but just, just, whatever just he a says in the next second 30 here, seconds, you're spot on. Angela. I got to a fitness class because they promised to get me in shape. You know what? <laughs> Round is a shape. <laughs> round. Round is a shape, <laughs> but only only your head should be round, not your belly. Angela Cody Roche, tell me, how many uh, minutes a week do I lose just searching for stuff? Oh, my gosh. How about let's go per day. The average American spends 55 minutes a day, a day? looking for things that they know they own, but what? Can't find. Right. An hour. That's an hour a day. Wow. Five minutes here, five minutes there. Yeah. It's there for some people it could be a whole they do the whole hour in one shebang <laughs> looking yeah. for your keys looking for that invoice <laughs> where's that business card hey, listen, did I you leave? only need to know when, one website though it's majormom.biz majormom.biz and wh where are you guys located now you're all over the place we are in denver colorado springs tulsa chicago and phoenix and don't forget longmont you're up there that's right. We go all the way up to Longmont. Mm -hmm. We've got Lisa up there. We do cover the whole state of Colorado because we will travel. We're going to tell you ride this week. And Angela, you do homes, you do offices, you do garages. You've got an incredible no judgment system that you offer, correct? That's right. We have a no judgment guarantee. The number one reason why people do not hire a professional organizer is they are terrified of we of us walking in their home in their space and judging them and we would never do that because we believe god put us on this planet 
to organize his people without judgment, and we are going to stick to that mission. I, I love this, actually. And uh, now, now, if, if Angel or uh, Pam decided they wanted to, to buy me a gift card, uh, you know, to, to get an organizer into my space, uh, could they do that? Absolutely. People buy gift cards from us all the time. And what we do when a husband calls in and says, I want to get a gift card for my wife, we are interested in taking his money right away. The first thing we say is, is your wife open to having us in her home? Mm, yeah, good, good, good assessment. It is, because if you're not ready, it, it is pretty painful. Majormom.biz, you've got workshops you do every month. How do we find out about those? Those are on our uh, majormom.biz website. We have one workshop per month. They're awesome. They're well attended. And people have said it has completely changed the way they think about their home, their calendars, their cars, everything. I'll tell you what. I love being organized, and I always learn something new every time I go to one of the Major Mom workshops. I, I, and, I. I, and I learn from Angela. Angela, love you. So proud of Major Mom and the growth and the expansion. I'm going to send you some after pics because I'm actually far more organized than I sound on radio. Sure. Oh, I know you're very organized, Eric, and I've, you've sent me pictures of your closet, and I was so proud. You wait till you see it now. Ooh, okay. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> hey, that's Angela Coderger, MajorMom.biz, because uh, getting organized is not a luxury. It's a necessity. That's it. Thanks so much, Angela. Have a majorly organized day. Can't help it. Folks, when we come back, we've got Pam Atherton all to ourselves. We might share her with you. Stay tuned on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Women-owned businesses are on the rise, but where do you go when the bank says no? Ladies, you know it's tough to secure the capital necessary to launch or develop a new business. You need to know attorney Steve Replin of the Replin Law Group. Steve specializes in helping women secure hard money lending when no one else will step up. You have an ally in Steve Replin. He has the knowledge and resources to get you the money you need to grow your business. Call Steve today. It's Money in the Bank, your bank. 303-322-7919 or replinlawgroup.com. Ugh, computers, we can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in, all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at BinkleyIT.com. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Finance.com. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. 
At highway speeds, the average text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds. That's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop texts, stoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Ken Clark, today at 1 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, yeah. <laughs> That is the theme song for Pam Atherton. She brings us up when we feel down, and we never feel down because she's always close by. Hey, I just want to say, isn't the fan bragging contest over in like two days or something? Two days. Yes, on Friday. Pam, this has been phenomenal for everybody participating. They get all these online reviews. It has just warmed their hearts to read what their customers Think about that. We are way over 1,800 reviews, positive four and five-star reviews and ratings for uh, just over 300 companies. Well, and the cool part, too, is if you were kind of tentative about a company, you can now see those reviews instead of saying, where do I look on Yelp? Do I look here? Where do I look? And it's all in one place. And like you said, what a great feeling to see how other people feel about your business. It gets done in two days, five hours, ten minutes. That's There's it. a countdown on your website. There is. is. Have you seen the eyeball on the website? Yeah, what's it's that awesome, all about? It? It's awesome. Eric, yeah, what wait, wait, is you're, it? You're jingling your bangles. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, I on Monday it's morning because it it's went an dark. Eye in the dark. So That's the last all. week, all of the votes no, that, that, way too much that come in, we're hiding. So the anticipation, nobody knows, oh, you know, how close I are they and who's in the running. And so it was our way of, of of that anticipation this last week. And I told Eric, at first, I wanted him to just shut the website down, just have like a curtain to say shut the website down. Well, or a curtain, hidden. kind yeah, of yeah, curtain like the hiding. Reveal. Are you? Serious. So we he we compromise. He says I'll put something on this banner, and uh, I, I Monday morning I went to the website. He's like Angel, it's all ready, it's all done. <laughs> and I saw this creepy eyeball looking at me. What? It's not at all creepy. Where it's just a world? black and white eyeball. How how do we dark. come together? I don't know. And and like kind that, of strange. What is it? Is oh, no. Listen, can I give a shout out? Please. Sure. Okay. So David Klein is the inventor of Jelly Belly, and they call him Candyman. Oh. And he has an entrepreneur group on Facebook, the David Klein Entrepreneur Group. <laughs> and there are a lot of members in that. Uh, Scott Smith is one of them. And they don't just talk about food. They talk about everything, how to get things from wholesale to retail. I mean, it's a great group. And they a lot of them are tuned in today. Oh, well. So I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Thank you for tuning in absolutely and can't wait to do something with you guys later. well and david yeah. uh i've been i've been on the tour over there in fairfield uh at the corporate headquarters for uh, jelly belly wow <gasps> really yeah. oh yeah yeah oh, I, I think everybody should take a field trip to jelly belly in fairfield california it is uh you talk about a great run operation well, so uh, here's a secret. Yeah. He's working on a new candy. Come on. And I can't tell the name of it because I haven't been given permission, but he is working on a new candy to get out in the stores. So keep an eye out. Ooh, all right. David well, Klein, I, the Willy Wonka of our day. I have a, uh, a jar of Jelly Bellies in my... Do you? In, you know, they're just like one of those little... You sweet, have to have them. ...sweet treats. Like so yeah. easy to have around. You don't feel and guilty. fun flavors, Popcorn. you know. Yeah. You never Popcorn. know, like until you pop it in your mouth. Remember the, the Harry Potter ones? Yeah, that there was, was one uh, of those that uh, kind of went... Oh, no. Oh, that was oh. smart. Though. I believe it was that the was hog or the wart. I'm not sure which marketing. one, but it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was super smart marketing. Yeah. And talking about super smart marketing, Pam, I learn so much from you. In just minutes sitting around you, your brain thinks in a way that is always about Are marketing. Are you calling and me messaging. crazy? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. A little bit really crazy is okay. Brilliant. Well, a little thank bit you. crazy, but yeah. yeah, that's why it works. I just, I love it. I love taking a, a business that has an idea and going, look, you know who'd be interested in this? This person. And this is how you reach them. And this is how you do it. And, and forget the old rules because the bottom line is all of the old rules are going away. Right. There is no, the, the sales funnel we all learned in school, it doesn't exist anymore, you know? And the same thing about the golden triangle for marketing where you could have two out of the three right. you could have speed or you could have quality or you could have you know I forget what the third one is now service. you have yeah. service yeah. now you have them all plus right. you have an experience 
So, you know, the whole concept the, of... The paradigm has changed. Indeed it uh, has. And, and if your business isn't keeping up with it, you're going to you're gonna be gone. So, so Pam, uh, on Saturday, uh, you're, yes. you're partnering up with uh, our, our good friend at Three Miles Per Hour. She, she, she Polly Latofsky. She walked across the entire world. She did. She The first woman to do it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, and she's a marvelous woman. And she has been helping people in the self-publishing business right. and kind of shepherding them. And so she said to me, a lot of people say, yeah, but I want to get on radio. I want to get in blogs. How right. do I do that? And it is very specific. Uh, there are a lot of rules and etiquette and things like that. And I'm going to show them how as being a talk show host for over 20 years, sure. I get pitched more than a hundred times a week. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And you guys do too. I know many, many times a day and yeah. you know, which appeals to you and which don't. Right. right. Oh, and, immediately. Yeah. Immediately. And that's what we're going to talk about. Sometimes yeah. we discover them mid interview. Well, <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's true. <laughs> uh, how did they get through? Um, so you're going to be teaching this workshop on right. Saturday, and I want to make sure that our listeners know about it. We are um, offering that a, a workshop to our members this afternoon, but if they can't make it to this one, I want to send them to the event on yeah. Saturday. Because the one on Saturday, Day. We're going to talk, it's a little bit longer than the one today, but we're going to talk about everything from how to structure the one sheet that you need to send out, right? What collateral materials you have to be ready, uh, and what you are going to talk about, and all of those different things, plus how to approach them. So that's what we're going to talk about. All right. So I'm going to look up some details for that so we can share that on our Facebook page oh, that would and, be great. and send that some people there on Saturday. And again, if you're a member of the Experience Person Network and you can't make it this afternoon uh, with Pam, you can go on Saturday. Today, we get it for free. Yes, you do. Uh, that's right. Because that's what, you know, she's given us a gift uh, for being a part of the Experience Pros Network. part of you guys. Yes, yeah. so we love that. Love that. All right, so um, you've been taking notes. You know, we've had right. some guests on today uh, because, again, your brain is always thinking like that. Um, let's give our listeners just a little takeaway, um, something they can use today to improve their messaging. Well, so, for example, we, we know how difficult it is to talk on the radio anyway. Um, a lot of people, it's scary because they think of the thousands of people who are listening, and that's right. what they visualize instead of just looking at you and just, saying, just I'm talking to you. conversation here. Right. Yeah. So that's one of the biggest things. So the fact that people are able to, able to do it at all is a good thing. Right. But then it's like, how do we make it even more interesting? Because the bottom line is, your customer is your listener. Right. right? And mm. so if the guest doesn't make your customer happy, they're not coming on again because you need to take care of your customer. Sure. So what are you going to tell Angel and Eric's customers that they want to hear? And it's not what we call feature vomiting. It's not <laughs> talking about your business. Well, we're open from nine to five. We won 10 awards. I call that the we're Toby Keith. I want to talk about me, 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 me. Stop right. it. Yeah, exactly. Instead, what is it the customer wants to know? Right. So that's what you need to think about first is, for example, I'll tell you one um, that would be a great thing. Well, we talked about nylons, right? Sure. And some examples of what people might be interested. What are the hottest five colors in cars um, this year. Right. Now, we're not saying go to Nylons to get your car fixed, but, you know, when you trust him, then you're going to go to him. Yes. But he's interesting. So the next time he comes on and he talks about, you know, how much you should expect to pay for a rear car dental or something. You know, uh, uh, Pam, you, you make so much sense. And I know that people are going to want to follow you and get connected with you and listen to your uh, radio show and, uh, you know, probably have questions for you beyond the scope of your trip here. Sure. How do people connect with you? Well, on Facebook, I'm, I'm Pam Atherton. Okay. And our uh, Pamela Atherton. Pamela. No, Pamela. Pamela. Sorry, Pamela. And I uh, often have pictures of me in my convertible, so you'll know that's me. There you go. And then I also have A Closer Look with Pam Atherton. Okay. So, And that's just A Closer Look Radio, I think. But we can put the links on your uh, we website will. as well. It's all on our Fantastic. Facebook page. You can follow her. Um, anytime that Pam is around and in town, you want to make sure that you attend one of her workshops. Super duper valuable. They're pam -tastic. Oh, stop it. They You're really killing are. me. They're Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> I love you, my little kumquats. Uh, right, well, right, we right. did. We got to share our kumquats for the, for the very first time with Pamela. Anybody else, anything else you want to make sure that we share today, Pam? Just always remember, everything is always about your customer. It's never about you. Yeah. Good, good words of advice. With that note, on behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show happen every single day, we do want to say thank you for tuning in and for being a part of the revolution in how people treat people in business. Now, we encourage you to do something crazy. 
Go ahead and give somebody a 20 second kiss. You know you want one. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tutsi and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 344 2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.